This is Jenna Burt, host of the Confessions of a Military Spouse podcast. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. What's up, guys? Welcome to Your Life Matters podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Mariah White, and I am a passionate pediatric nurse practitioner and fired up health and happiness coach here to deliver a simple message to you. This podcast is meant to provide a hope and a dream that fuels your soul to dream big and to dream bold and to inspire and empower you to live out your wildest dreams and to grab a hold onto the unwavering truth that you were made for more. What's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. I am so grateful that you are here. So blessed and so honored to just be recording yet another episode on the Your Life Matters podcast. I had such an incredible message from my manager at Public House Media who decided to text me and let me know that we have officially hit almost 51,000 downloads. That's a huge milestone for a podcast, especially a baby podcast like this, who's only been around for a little over a year. And that is such a huge testament to you guys for sharing this podcast, for constantly encouraging me, for sending me messages on Instagram and Facebook and different platforms that just kind of let me know like, hey, I love this and I appreciate it. And this and this and this connected with me. I have so many women who, you know, message me and just say, hey, Mariah, this really touched me and it's allowed me to grow so much in my life. Or I have women that I work with or I know personally who have really literally brought me to tears and just said, I went after my dreams because you said blah, blah, blah. And that man brings tears to my eyes right now it it brings me such joy to know that my words can make such an impact in your life because I remember a place in my life where words that I'm saying would have hit such a monumental home run for me in my life and would have helped me and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to instill in you guys that your life truly matters that you truly are made for more and that you really can be anything you want to be in this life and I needed to get on this podcast today and tell you if you haven't heard today if you haven't heard ever if you haven't heard recently I am so freaking proud of you I'm proud of the person that you are. I'm proud of the sister, the mother, the daughter, the friend, the brother, the husband, the wife. I am proud of who you are. I am proud of all the hats that you hold. I'm proud of all of the different roles that you juggle. I'm proud of how hard you are working this December to really maximize your goals and to really achieve what you've been driven to and called to do. I'm so proud of you as a person living day in and day out to be the best person you can be. I am proud of you. And I needed to say that. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And you are so freaking loved in my book. And I'm here cheering you on every single step of the way. So with that being said, I just thank you so much for being one of those ones that download this podcast. I empower you. I encourage you. I ask you to take this episode and share it with somebody that just needed to hear that message, that needed to hear how proud they were how how proud someone is of them because sometimes we just forget that we don't always say it and it's hard because we go through a lot of different things in our life and not always do we feel like you know we're being told how amazing we are how special we are or the things that we can go and do in our life but I want you to understand I'm proud of you and if somebody's proud of you that means everything at least to me so On a different note, I wanted to touch base with you guys on something that's really connected with me over the last couple of days and something that really is heavy on my heart to share with you guys. And it's just 
understanding that you can be fully present in family and friends and holidays and enjoy the holiday and enjoy the holidays that are going on. Enjoy the time that you're spending with your family, but also work hard towards goals. I want you to understand that sometimes it's okay to just unplug. And if we think about how hard I've been pushing for the last, you know, four years, but especially this year, um, my team, Team Bold and Beautiful, hit a massive goal in our business. I partner with a company called Beachbody, um, and I hit one of the top business goals that you can go for. I, um, Me and my team achieved the 2020 premier team. That's the second year in a row because we were a 2019 premier team. And that is so proud for me to say. But in that same breath, I have to say we busted our butt. We worked really freaking hard. And to sit there and look and say, hey, we've worked really hard this year and I'm proud of that but mm, I can sit back and just enjoy this these holidays and not really work that's not me that's not who I am that's not what I'm gonna I'm gonna do and I think about holidays and how people are always kind of like oh, I can't you know try and be healthy I can't try and be happy I can't go after goals it's the end of the year I'll just wait till January 1st well guys if you're already putting yourself on the back burner you're not going to invest in yourself January 1st It doesn't matter if it's November 1st or December 1st or December 31st. It doesn't matter. You're not valuing who you are because of the holiday. And guess what? It's a holiday, not a holla month. It is one Thanksgiving. It is one Christmas. It's not the entire month that you need to be doing all of these extravagant things. I'm not telling you you can't enjoy the time with your family or the time with your friends or spend time just enjoying meals or connecting with other people, but you don't have to use the excuse of, hey, this is an entire month that I need to just devote to my family and friends and I can't focus on anything else because that's not the case. And I want you to understand that. And then with that being said, too, I just want to say to you, I took time off this past week to really enjoy Thanksgiving, and here's why. I've worked really hard, but I also understand that my family needs to see me be present and understand that I've worked so hard in the last four years to build a life by design for my family. So if I'm working so hard, but then I'm not showing up for my family, really, truly, what's the point of it all? If Bianca were to say, hey, my mommy works really hard. She works out every day. She shows up every day, but I don't ever get to spend time with her. What really is the point of all of that? What is really the point of me working so hard that I can't just be present with my family? I sit there and I think about not just my daughter, but I think of my daughter's sister, Alicia, who's five and she's living with us and we're all under the same roof and she gets to sit there and say, you know, and she always calls, she calls me Araya and she says, you know, Araya always works out. She's always so healthy. She's always working out. She's so strong. And I want her and Bianca, both the girls that I love so much to see me and see her mom show up every single day for ourselves and show them that they don't know what unhappy, unhealthy moms look like. And it And it is something that's important to me, but I also know that they see me when I get on my computer and I say, hey, Araya, when I'm talking to Alicia, like, hey, Araya needs to work. I need an hour. Go play with your sister. Go play, go play like in your room, go hang out, whatever, go play in the playroom, whatever the case is. She knows that, yeah, in the context of a five-year-old, Araya's working. There's times where me and her mom go to Starbucks and the girls are there and we're hanging out, but we're really getting work done. And they know, and I've, and I've heard Alicia say, Araya's working really hard or, Hey, make sure you go to Starbucks. Don't forget to work. And she said that to me the other day. Um, when we had told her as we were dropping her off at her dad's like, Hey, we are going to go to Starbucks and get some work done. And she was like, okay, Araya, make sure you get work done. Um, let me know how it goes. Like she's just a five-year-old being a five-year-old, but she's seen the consistency over time. She's seen me show up. She sh- she knows what it means for Araya to say, hey, I need to work out or hey, I need to work on business stuff or hey, I just need to get on my laptop and I need an hour to just really work hard. She understands the concept of that. 
And here's why. I've set that precedent. But she also knows that if she wants to play with Barbies or she wants to put on a show or she wants to sing and dance or she wants to hang out with her sister, me and her mom, or she wants to do something, I'm not sitting on my phone in a corner stressing out that I need to be working my business because I'm a CEO. And I'm a CEO of my business, I'm a CEO of my life, and I'm a CEO of my freaking time. So when I say that you need to take time to unplug, that you need to take time to set your schedule and r- make a routine that is working for your family, working for you, working for the things that are important to you, I mean that. And I really implemented that this past weekend where Thanksgiving was such an amazing day. I spent it with my family. Um, Lee and I went over there and it was so awesome. Bianca just soaked it up. She got to eat mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes and ham and all kinds of stuff. And then being able to spend the next couple of days just unplugging and just saying, hey, I don't need to work. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. I just need to be present with my family. I need to spend time with the people that I love because that's why I work so hard. That's why I do what I do. And I challenge you right now to understand that there's a balance between continuing to push for your goals as you gear towards the last couple of days of the 2019 year and also the decade And finding balance to enjoy your holidays and enjoy Christmas, enjoy festivities and enjoy time with your family. Like we are going to be taking the girls up to Polar Express here come uh, come in a couple of weekends. And I'm so excited, but you're not going to catch me on my phone working. I'm going to be enjoying the fact that a five-year-old and an eight-month-old is going to be soaking up santa's workshop and the polar express and if you if any of you guys know me you guys know that i love snow and i'm going to be so involved in the snow that yeah it's unreal i'm so excited so i wanted to just connect with you guys on that level i just wanted to come to you and just say hey find the balance between pushing for your goals and being present with your family Find the balance with grinding hard to finish the year and the decade out strong, but also spend time and enjoy the holiday, not holiday month, holiday, and be present with your family to show them why you're working so hard. There's a fine balance, a fine line, and you need to find it. Now, if you're sitting there saying, well, Mariah, you know, my goals aren't going to happen. I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to push. This is where I'm going to give you a gut check and say, suck it up, buttercup. You need to make this happen. It is the last couple of days of the year. It is the last couple of days of the decade. Your goals matter more than anything in the world. Because if you show your kids and your family that you can give up this fucking close, sorry for my language, but this fucking close to the end of the year, then what do you really have to show for? What are you really showing them? That you don't matter, that you aren't valued, that you aren't worth anything. And that is complete bullshit because you matter. You are worth more than anything in the world and your goals matter more than anything in the world. You deserve this. You deserve this time. You deserve this effort. You deserve 110% grinding hardcore to your goals. Because then when you wake up January 1st, you already have a routine. You already have a mission. You already have a vision. You've already been vision vision casting. You already know what your goals are for that 2020 year. You aren't sitting there on January 1st saying, hmm, I don't know what I should aim for. Let's write out a list of New Year's resolutions. No. Bullshit. You're writing out a list of different things that you're going to attack this year And how you're going to bring that same momentum into the next year. So there's a difference. I want you to unplug. I want you to find balance. But I want you to still grind. And I need you to hear me. Because it wasn't just, what was it? This November 30th, because there was only 30 days in that month. I was really pushing to hit a goal for my business. And I remember sitting at dinner, like we had gone to breakfast, we spent all day together. I sat at dinner and Lee's looking at me like, Mariah, did you hit your goal? And I was like, no, Um, well, I just, I really want to be, she's like, "Uh, that's not Mariah, I know. Get on your phone, grind, let's go. And it happened to be like, I'm on two laptops, I'm on two phones, she's giving me her phone, I'm grinding out, she's watching Bianca, she's bouncing her up and down, like to hit this massive goal. And I did it because she tapped into the fact that, hey, 
we can have balance and we can still grind and we can still be present, but we still have goals to hit and we need to make it happen. So there's a fine line. Let your family know what you're going after. They will support you if you've expressed to them the importance of your dreams. If you've expressed to them the importance of your vision and your mission and what you're going for. You can find balance in all of this. You can find joy and you can continue to push hard in all of your goals and all of your dreams. Because soul sister, I freaking believe in you and you can make anything happen. It is time to finish out this year hard. It is time to go hard in your mission and your vision and make it freaking happen. I believe in you. Find balance. Enjoy the holidays. Enjoy the festivities. Do not give up on your goals. Remember how much you freaking matter and know how much I freaking believe in you and how proud I am that you are here, that you are listening, that you are a part of my life, and that you share the Your Life Matters podcast. Go finish 2019 bigger and better than any other year. Finish this decade and make it freaking happen because you deserve it.